Right chaps, time for another video, uh, an indoors one, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Right, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go through the night vision kit I've made. Of course I made it myself, uh, you've probably seen it, uh, being used on the, uh, the night ratting shoots um, that I've been doing. So, basically, made it myself, got all the components, I had a bit of a look about, got myself some ideas, and then I built this one myself to my own personal preference. So what we'll do, we'll go through what you need to buy, how much it costs, and how it's set up. Yeah, and there are a few things you must take note of. Yeah, we'll go through the problems I had and the difficulties of getting it bang on. And I thought, bought a fair few bits of kit till I got it right. So there's a few bits of kit obsolete now at the moment uh, for me to get it right but I got it bang on in the end and if you've watched the ratting videos you can see it does its job done it so first things first the gear I bought yeah I got it all off eBay all off eBay I just searched around for the best price okay and what I paid Basically, for all that, minus postage, postage isn't included in this, was 132 quid. Yeah, for the night setup. Uh, the problem is, yeah, to make this video, I've got back into eBay, looked at the prices uh, to total it all up to give you a, a total cost price. They've all changed. Yeah, the prices have gone up. So, what I'll do, I'll put screenshots at the end of this video uh, of all the bits of kit you need yeah and then look around have a search about for the best prices because the chopping and changing uh, the other thing is I got the majority of it or a lot of it from China yeah over the space of a couple of months you know for obviously the delivery timings yeah uh, so it might be quite difficult at the moment but you can get it all in the UK yeah, you can get these components for everything in the UK, however, they are a little bit more pricey. But, that's what I priced it up as. And that's without postage, 132 quid. So let's say, let's say, yeah, for argument's sake, less than 140 quid. Yeah. Right, as I say, I'll put up at the end all the screenshots, because then you've got, the name of the component yeah because what I did yeah I was looking for donkey's years for what the bits of kit were called and obviously I eventually found them so what I'll do I'll make it easier for you and I'll put them screenshots at the end so what you can do yeah as you go through this vid at the end pause it write down what it's called and then you can search about for your best possible prices but believe me the prices have changed for what I paid so, yeah, just bear that in mind, chaps. Okie dokie. Let's get on with it then. Sort of bomber. Right then, guys. So, what I'll do is I'll go through all the components individually, a quick look at them, and then uh, we'll go into them in uh, a bit more detail. Okay? Yeah. So, I'll get everything ready to go, and then we'll have a look. Of what you're gonna need right guys so I've got all mine in a hot well it's a hard case yeah I'll show you that in a bit it's just something that came with a load of GoPro attachments in uh, I took them all out bung them in a box and use this for the night vision so again it's a hard case I'll show you that later anyway right so a quick look at the components then yeah it's all here Everything you need is there in that case. Right, so in no particular order, I'm just going to go through them. Okay, that is a monitor, that's the screen. Basically, it's for in the car for reversing cameras 
In fact, we'll leave that out there because it's coming out anyway. That is the battery pack or the power pack, so that's what powers everything. 12 volt. Everything's 12 volt. Come on to that in a minute. That is the infrared torch. That is the adapter, the stand for the camera, uh, not the camera, the monitor, sorry. We'll come on to that in a bit. A two way splitter. The camera is in there. I don't know if you can see it with the light, but we're obviously we're going to go through it in more detail anyway. But that is the camera and the homemade camera housing. Very important you get that right. Come on to that very shortly. And that's just the first battery pack I bought. You don't need that. Yeah. I made myself a smaller one. Yeah, but we'll go through that anyway. Adapter. Double A batteries, 1.5 volt, 1865Os, 3.7 volt, 9900 milliamps, megaamps, or whatever it is, I don't know. I'm no battery expert. And then we'll look at some other goodies, some other attachments. Should you wish to. Okay then, so uh, scope, rifle of course, yeah, everything attaches to this here. Okay, so basically it's, uh, it's mounted uh, to the tube on the scope. And that's a Picatinny rail or a Weaver rail. Yeah, it's called two different things, but that's what it's all attached to. So that is one of them. You can get two different sized tubes. I think it's 25.4mm, uh, which is 1 inch tube, or 30mm. I think that's 30mm. So make sure you buy the right one for your scope. Okay, whether it's 25mm or 30mm. It's two different sizes, remember that. Okie dokie. So everything fits to that. Yep. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll build it up. And then we'll have a look at everything uh, individually in more detail. Okie dokie. So the first thing to go on is the IR torch. And that fits to the Picatinny rail. So that fits on there.
again, you can tighten that up with uh, the Allen key. You get Allen keys supplied with all these Picatinny rails, the different mounts. Just push it in and tighten it up if you want. Okie dokie. So that fits on there. Then we've got to fit the screen, the monitor. And that fits on the Picatinny rail on top of this mount. Same as. So again, that's fitted on and of course that's what you watch. Obviously you don't look through the scope as per normal. You watch your screen. A little bit dirty. A bit of rat juice on it. Okie dokie. Right. Then you've got to fit the camera. Then the battery pack, but of course that's all got to all be connected up. Again, it's 12 volt. More on that later. And we're on. Right. So let's have a look at the connections now. So I'm going to strip it down again. And we'll look how it's all connected up. The electric side of things, let's say. Okay, so we've got monitor needs power. Camera needs power. And of course there is the power, the power pack. Okay. There's only one uh, cable coming out of there. So that's where the splitter comes in because you've got to power the camera and the monitor. So again these are all like CCTV connections, it's 12 volt. So now we split it into two power sources, one for the camera, one for the monitor. Right, on the camera then you're going to get two leads coming out of the end. That's the power. That's the video. But as you can see, that's coax. That will not fit straight into your monitor. So you've got to get an adapter. A coax adapter. with a male into the RCA RCA or Radio Corporation of America which it stands for I've been researching okay so obviously yellow goes in yellow that is the video so that's the actual screen itself yeah that's the power white is obsolete so video power yeah I think that's audio but you don't need that so basically red and yellow so the camera the coax attaches to the camera the 
and that then connects to the monitor. Okay, okay. So then with the camera, you've got to power it. So one of the two splitter leads into there, and then of course you've got to power the monitor. So that goes into the red. And that is it connected. Switch it on. And that's it all connected up. Yeah, you can have a look at yourselves. Obviously it's very close, so it's not focused. More on focusing very shortly. So that's it all connected up, that's how it's done. Right, let's have a look at the gubbins then, uh, of how to make it all. Right then, start off with the power pack. So it's a 12 volt output. It's got an on-off switch. And it's a 1.5 volt AA batteries. Yeah. 8 times 1.5, 12. So it's got a 12 volt output, that one. Because it's in, I don't know, yeah, parallel or series, one of the two. Either way, it's a 12 volt output. But well, that's a nice compact one. It'll fit in your battery housing on your rifle. Again, I'll show you that later. There's other different power packs. I bought this one originally, but it's a bit big and chunky. Again, it's 12 volt. 9,800 megaamps, milliamps, whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah, it's one of the two. But again, that's connected via another cable. Let's have a quick look at that though then, because it's slightly different this to this. Right, so I bought this originally. This is a rechargeable. Ching ching, yeah. But with this one, that one fits straight in. It doesn't fit in there. So you're going to need one of these. Another cable, basically, both male ends. So one fits in there and the other male end fits in there basically like that forget that so it's two male ends so you want a cable that fits like that but again I'm not using that one now. I do use it, but I can't find the cable. Yeah, that's rechargeable. You can put rechargeable batteries in that, or you can just put bog standard double A's in there and just replace them when the batteries are flat. That's what I do at the moment. I just put some more batteries in. Right, another power pack. If I'm sat on a table, I'll sit on a table. On the back, gun on a bipod, yeah. So if I'm not moving anywhere, I'm sat there for the rats. Again, that's for my bait boats. That, and then you can connect that via that cable again, slotted onto there, yeah, and then just plug it in. So again, it will run off any 12 volt battery, provided you got the right connection into there from the battery. So with that version, 
This is off my bait bolt, but again I can connect it. Positive, negative, but as you can see, they're both female. So you need a lead or an adapter with two male ends on that will join them two together. I've got one somewhere because I have used it. I just can't find it at the moment. Okie dokie. So, different power packs. That's the one I use most because it's portable and it fits on the stock of the rifle and the housing. And then I just change batteries when needed. Right then, the camera, the camera housing, the homemade one, fits on the eye belt of the scope. Very important, uh, the eye belt, we've got to get the right size, we'll come on to that in a minute. So basically, they're waste pipes from Screw Fix. It's flow plast and it's 40 mil pipe. Oh sorry, that one's 43 mil. That's 40 mil. And they come in two different packages. You get a pack of five. You can't just buy them singular. You have to buy five. Right, so in there is a slight lip, I don't know whether you can see it, there's a slight lip on there and the camera fits absolutely perfectly. So what you do, you drill a hole in there for the camera cable, put the camera in, I've glued it on, I'll show you that in a minute. Screw that up tight, that fits on perfectly and then that fits over the eye bell of your scope. Here's one I made earlier, okie dokie. That's just got a bit of camo tape on of course. So again same thing, that screws off. Hole drilled in there, a bit of hot glue, that melted glue from a glue gun, and there's the camera. Fits perfectly, as you can see, four corners, and it pushes up against that rim. Again, I'll put the pictures up of the camera that's it it's a CCTV camera and there's the uh, the details but again that's the most expensive bit of kit that was 69.95 made in Korea so again Cable goes through the hole, glue it in, connects to the camera and that fits in perfectly. Absolutely perfect that. So you've got to get the 40mm. Okay. So again that just screws on the back. That fits over the top and that slides onto the eye bell of the scope. Right. Let's have a look at the eye bell of the scope now. This is the very important part. that You've got to get it right. If you don't get it right, it won't work. Believe me. Yeah, trial and error, trial and error. For quite a few weeks before I got it right. Right, lads, the camera. Another important piece of information you're going to need, because if you buy the wrong one, it won't work. Okay, so when you buy this camera, it is a 16mm. I think it's Sony. I'm not sure. But it's got to be without the IR filter. Okay, so you can get them with IR, infrared, or you can get them without. This is the without. 
if you get the infrared apparently it doesn't work I'm not sure because I haven't got one I don't know what it does but it's stated that you've got to get the without IR IR infrared on the camera the IR on the scope does not stand for infrared yeah on the scope when you see IR it stands for illuminated reticle that means you can light the crosshairs up mine are either green or red Okay, so IR on this is infrared on the scope is illuminated reticle without infrared cut filter. Right chaps, the eye bell of the scope, of course the camera fits on there perfectly. They're all different, different size eye bells. That is 43 millimeters, so it's a 43 millimeter diameter. They're all different sizes. So if you get the wrong size scope, it'll only work on certain scopes. Yeah, it won't work. For example, so this scope with a 43 mil diameter eye bell. Yeah, is a Hawke Eclipse 4 to 16 B50 AO IR. And it fits perfectly. This scope is not. That's not 43mm. So if you've got the wrong scope, it ain't gonna work, lads. That's a three, uh, three to nine by forty. So the important thing is you've got to get a scope with a forty-three mil, because if that doesn't work, it's no good. You can't get a smaller one to fit that. There is thirty-two mil one of these, but the camera don't fit in it. The camera's too big to go in the end there. So make sure you get. 43 mil scope otherwise it's not going to work right then you've got the monitor yeah and of course the stands that they come with so as you can see it's a car rear view LCD monitor you can see that yeah light shining off it there it's a five inch screen okay there it is and it comes with a few extras cable we'll connect that up to the correct connection a sticky on the windscreen job which I don't use and then there's this one yeah, the tabletop type. But of course, got to be able to fit it to the gun, haven't we? Yeah. So that slots on the back, locks in there, but then you've got to put your own fitting on there. So I'll explain what that is and how I do that and how it has been done now. Right. So again, little bit of a modification here that is a scope mount a high profile one as you can see it's got the gap so it's a high profile and of course what I've done I've cut it off there filed it so it's flat and then glued it to the bottom of that one with Araldite so again mix Araldite and that's been glued on there
and of course that goes on a Picatinny rail on top of that tri mount. Right, so out of the monitor, of course, comes the cable. As I've said, white one's obsolete. Don't need to worry about that. Just red and yellow. Okie dokie. So, camera. Doesn't fit on there, so you've got to get a, con a connector. As I've said, this coax one with the male end on. I think it's called BNC, coax BNC to male R, uh, RCA. I'm not sure, but again, have a look at the pictures at the end. That locks onto there. Then into the monitor. Red one. Two cables from the power source into the red one and that's it connected. Video power. Right, battery housing is in this little uh, holder on the back. Obviously designed to go on the stock of a rifle. It's got a little zip pouch. And the battery pack just fits in there and it leaves a switch for me on and off. You can get it in just about, but again, if you're not walking around with it, it's fine. But if you are walking around, just chuck that about. All in there, ready to go. Right, so the IR torch, that's a T20. And it's powered by 18650s. Whee! One single battery there, 18650, 3.7 volt. That's on the Picatinny tri mount. Which is that? So we've got three options there, the two side ones, we'll have a look at them later. So a T20 IR infrared torch, right so mount it all again. Out of the camera. Monitor. And that's it on. But of course it needs focusing and everything. I'll show you that in a minute. And that's it ready to go. Of 
course tie all the cables up you can neaten that lot up yourself I just wrap it around everything just make sure my scope focus is free and my cocking lever it is PCP it's not loaded fire it off okie dokie so that's it right let's have a look at what we've got to do now to focus it because you've got to play around it to get it right I unscrew the eye bell that focuses the uh, the reticle the crosshairs to get a focus what I usually do because that you can hold on to the camera and just turn that with the eye belt to focus and that has now focused the crosshairs and then of course you've got to focus the rifle yeah the power locks at the front and of course yeah zoom it's all got to be focused in but you're going to have to play around with that to get it right it does take a bit of doing but you will get there eventually yeah as you can see in the videos right so that's it ready to go shoot some rats right so because it's a, a tri mount can also fit some other toys this is a white light torch so if I need white light I can have that connected also got a red light one yeah that can also go on there if needed but again it's getting a bit daft now isn't it but I can put a red light on or I can take that off and just mount it straight to the gun so we've got red light or white light yeah I can have them all three on there it's just options in it again I fitted one of them uh, them mounts to this one as well so I can just stick a torch on that one can either put of course because they're all interchangeable Again, I'm not screwing that up, but again, you can just fit the torches to the top of that rifle as well if I need it. Other things to note with these mounts, yeah, they're 30 mil, but they do come with spacers. To get them down to 25.4 but if you still don't fit a little bit of tape again come with spacers for a one inch tube or a 30 mil right guys so other things you can make but I'm not going to go through it in this video You've got your camera made out of the screw fix waste pipe, flow plast, 43mm, 40mm with end cap. Scope cam for the phone. Again, that'll come in another vid. Very easy to make. And you've seen the footage through that as well. Right, so that's that then guys. 
what I'll do, as I'll say, I'll put up some screenshots, yeah, for all the names of bits of kit and prices. But remember, shop around for the prices, lads, because I've noticed the prices have gone up since I bought all that kit. So have a good shop about, yeah, get the cheapest price, obviously. Super. Right. Feel a little bit of rat murdering coming on. Top bomber. See you later, lads. Stay safe. Take it easy.